How's it going, everyone? It's your boy, Big D. Here. It's a lovely Thursday, man. It's May 28th, 2015. I have one week of school left. Then I go to a certain school, possibly next year, so I'm supposed to be a junior. I should be going to be in senior, but I think I'm going to end up graduating next year. I'm going to the certain school where I'll just, like, graduate because, you know, I'm close to dropping out, blah, 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 stuff like that, so I could get to graduating. I could graduate before my time, like, I'm supposed to. It's very... I hate stupid, but hey. Anyway, that's uh, yeah. Aquarius, a TV show, new TV show I'm gonna be reviewing, which has David Duchovny from X Files. Him, I love him. He's so sexy. And um, yeah, I'll still be reviewing Wayward Pines. So Friday, keep it up, guys, uh, on my channel. So this movie is called A Walk in the Woods. Official trailer number one has Robert Redford, at least on the cover. I have no idea what this is about. I'm assuming it's a walk in the woods. Hopefully it's not like the first three Lord of the Rings movies because basically walk in the woods of the forest of Mordor. I, I, Middle Earth, whatever. So, um, let's check it out. One ring to rule them all, and in the darkness behind them. Okay, give it a lot. Two minutes, thirty seconds, so... Uh, sorry for wasting your time. Thank you for being here. It really means a lot. It's our pleasure. Uh, I mean, it's a, not a pleasant time. No, it's a, we're just very sorry. We're very sorry. I'm tired of life being all about ailments and funerals. I want to push myself. You want to hike the Appalachian Trail? 2,000 miles. You have gone mad. It's my old pup tent. It's the perfect place for you to spend the night. 2,000 people a year try to do this. Less than 10% make it. Fit people in their 20s can't do it, Dad. You made a rain cover, too. Rain cover? Why? To keep out the rain. You are not doing this alone. How would you like to join me for a little stroll? Not in this lifetime. Next time, call me for something fun. It's like a colonoscopy. Bison is cats. Stephen? Not Stephen Katz. You two ended up on each other's nerves in Europe. That was 40 years ago. Oh, shit. I gotta eat every hour. I don't mind saying you get these uh, like seizures. Seizures, that's right. Nick Nolte. Try not to die, okay? Here you go. We go. What goes up must come down. What the hell happened down? John Hero once said, sometimes a man just has to get a loaf of bread and throw it into a sack and jump over the back fence. You okay? Never matter! That was like a drama. Oh, shit, not here. <laughs> How can I help you? You like your cabin? You know what your problem is? Oh! You're too fat. We're not even halfway there. No way that's to scale. Map to scale. That's it. New plan. Uh, I'm gonna drive the Appalachian Trail. I came out of here to be with you. One last adventure before it's too late. You can do whatever you want, but this is my adventure. Fine! That's the spirit. It's not like yesterday. Yeah, he seems right, but I wonder all these years. Well, that can't be good for you. I'm sorry we lost touch. Jesus, if they come for us, play dead. If they come for us, we are dead. Well, they say the Appalachian Trail is like lights. You don't know what's going to happen next. Oh, okay. Give it your best shot. Oh, you did that for me. walk in the woods. Labor Day weekend. Wow. Um... You know, when's Labor Day, actually? I'm sorry, I'm only 17, I don't pay attention. Uh, Labor Day is what, September or something, I guess? Something like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I just can't say the date, but okay, Labor Day. Um, it looks it looks okay. I'll watch it because, I mean, Nick Nolte, even though I make fun of Nick Nolte, he's, uh, he's pretty good, you know, uh, he's interesting to watch. He's not a bad actor. Uh, he's Nick Nolte, dude, why not? And Robert Redford, dude, come on, he's a, he's a, you, you can't go wrong with Robert Redford. And I thought it was a drama, because, you know, Robert Redford, freaking A Walk in the Woods, just, I never knew it be a comedy, and, you know, it'll have great scale of the land, it'll have, you know, just a buddy comedy, maybe, you know, they haven't seen each other in a long time, you know, and you have Nick Offerman, a little part in there, that girl from The Last Man on Earth, apparently he wasn't The Last Man on Earth. And he, it looks interesting, is all I'll say. So I'm going to give this one a B, a solid B, the trailer. You know, it's good, not great, not bad. It's just, I, it has my interest. 
Uh, I don't think I need to see actually any more trailers because, you know, it's not much. It's not like it's an action Marvel movie or something where it gives so much away. It's just a comedy of two friends talking about life, talking about death, getting back together, leaving each other. I mean, come on, you could write the whole movie. It's one of those cliches. But again, a walk in the woods, dude. Come on, let's, let's do it. I like it. I didn't hate it. Uh, you know, cliche type of, like, music and everything about life and, oh, life Okay. It's not an indie movie, right? It's like an actual theater. What I feel is like this generation, like my generation, sadly, sucks. This generation really doesn't know Nick Nolte. Like, maybe 15% knows Nick Nolte. And then I've read for maybe 30-40% since of Captain America The Winter Soldier and other movies done over the past years. I mean, like, past 5-10 years. So... I don't know if they'll sell that. Like, a lot of older people will go. I mean, there's still millions of billions of older people in the world, but I'll go, you know, I love, the, I appreciate these actors, and I'll see where it takes me, and where it goes, actually, so comment down below, let me know what did you think about A Walk in the Woods, guys, hope all of you enjoyed uh, my reaction, because I don't know how I looked, gotta go look back at it, but until next time, Spock be with you, always.